The coding durability test puts XS through a cycle of 10,000 strums. Through the lens of a microscope, it is clear that XS retains its composition better than other coded strings. Testing complete. Hey, this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. I'm at the Bridgestone in Nashville, shortly before the Eric Clapton concert, and I'm with Dan Dearly, who's been with Clapton for 12 years now. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. 12 years. So, Dan, thanks for joining us, man. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Just a thrill to be back here. Mm. So, um, although Clapton is one of the most iconic guitar players of all time, he's traveling with hardly any gear. That's right, yeah. It's all minimal now. So Three strats. Yep. Well, <laughs> one, yeah, one we use, really. <laughs> 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 yeah. So three strats, and uh, they're all his signature. Uh, show me what, what's he playing tonight. How's it yeah. work? Well, this, this is the main one at the moment. So like I said, they're all the same. They're just different color, a spare, and um, wow. yeah, the custom shop made by Todd Kraus for him. Uh, to his spec, you know, with the neck he likes. Wow. And so this is just the same signature Clapton Strat that anybody could buy. That's right. And yeah. you've not altered it at all? No. No, this standard yeah, setup. Yeah, they come, they come set up, preset up. Wow. <laughs> Tell a little bit about this guitar. Well, it's, it's active. Uh, so basically, it's got two volumes, if you like, you know. Yeah. It's supposed to sound like a humbucker when he brings in this extra control here that was the original That's how he does it that was the original theory but it really is a, a real like a boost you know kind of sure almost like a pedal in the guitar he wouldn't like me saying that but <laughs> yeah so is there a, is there a battery inside there is yeah yeah so it's, it's i think it's a 25 db boost wow what they say i'm not sure if that's actually on these models but and then yeah it's it's you know it's a three-way three-way switch on these really because we never use in the studio he may use in between but on, on live shows he doesn't, so... Really? Does he ever, like, do the trick where they kind of sticks in between, or...? Well, not deliberately, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, we don't do that. But, That's great. Yeah. Well, where does he spend most of his time? Because I remember he... It so seems here, like yeah. really right yeah. in the middle. Oh, yeah. I mean, the other day he was... He was on, he was on the bridge and that was amazing. Yeah, that was... <laughs> bright. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Huh. And, and it's got the blocked uh, yeah. whammy bar. Yeah, there's no, there's no movement in that at all. So we've got five springs in there and a piece of wood. So, hmm. You know, it's a very solid. So but before the gig, you say, okay, I want to play that one, and that's... Well, more likely it would be, if there's nothing said, we use this one. Yeah. If he doesn't want to use it, he'll let me know. Okay. But it, but it would always, yeah. Okay, tell me about the special strap. I see that one's got a special yeah, yeah. strap. The others are just normal. This was a present from his wife, Malia. Oh, well, there you go. And so that's why it's a special. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, you know, very tasteful. It's, uh, it's made by Hermes. Okay. So quality, quality piece of strap there. I've read years ago that he doesn't like new strings. Is that still the same thing or is that... Just bad journalism for yeah, 40 it's the years first ago. I've heard of it. Yeah, I've been changing them, <laughs> changing them too often. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he probably doesn't like strings going out of tune. Is maybe maybe that where that came from? Uh, right. Uh, what, what what strings do you use? Only ball regular slinkies. Okay. The tens, yeah. Yeah, the tens. Yeah. So, yeah, you know, old school. So, when he when he that's a guitar you're playing tonight, and he he does he ever change or just if it. Uh, he breaks a string or yeah well fingers crossed we don't change no yeah and uh, maybe if, if there's a tuning issue but hopefully not does he ever uh, break strings no touch wood huh. <laughs> no not recently god that's too easy okay so that strat's the main one the other two are roughly yeah back up with well, this will be the backup this is the they call it the almond green which is a um aston martin color oh okay let's go with um, That's right, he's kind of a car guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is actually newer. This, I think he got it in 2019. But he's used it quite a lot. Huh. Um, so it was the main guitar for a while. Wow. And then, just in case, you've got... Yeah, just, you know, a third spare. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's amazing, because Clapton's had... 
I mean, he, he, he's had the most iconic instruments imaginable, mm. and he donated, I think, all of them yeah. to yeah. Crossroads. Yeah. Well, that's incredibly generous. What a... Yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah. And now he just yeah. plays with the uh, Tours of the New stuff. Yep. Yeah, we have, you know, like I say, we have, we have a, a couple of guitars that he's had a long time, but they're not ones he'll play on stage, you know. Wow. Just, uh, he's still got the old Dobro uh, resonator guitar, which is... Yeah. Um, I, think yeah. It's, I think it was used on the Unplugged, I think. Yeah. Uh, heavily inlays. Sure. That's from around here, actually. I think he got it here. Oh, really? Yeah, years ago, in the 70s. I heard that he bought Blackie and some other ones yeah. here in Nashville. That's right. Bought yeah. like three of them, then switched them around. Yeah, yeah. He built them, you know, swapped the bits apart and yeah. together. And right in Nashville. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Too yeah. cool. So Dan, now we're looking at acoustics. A little more variety here. Let's start with this one. So yeah, this is Eric's favorite, currently favorite guitar. Has it at home? Uses it in the studio. Uh, no pickup, and this is what we've used for the first three shows on this leg of, of tour. So, Hold on, um, there's no you're playing yeah. playing arenas. He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's no. Uh, he, he was, uh, you know, always struggling with the sound of a plugged-in acoustic, um, so he insisted on using this with a microphone, and everybody has to pay attention and be quiet, you know. Wow. Or else it doesn't work. So yeah, um, it's quite it, obviously it's very quiet on the stage. So um, does the band just comes down in volume? Yeah, the upright bass comes out. Uh, very, very slight bit of keyboards and very light drums. And Doyle, Doyle was actually playing one of Eric's guitars, which is a, a D'Angelico without a pickup. Wow. Uh, so an old, really old one, actually. A nice old. Are there feedback issues um, with a mic like mm. that? Well, there is. Yes, can be. But, uh, <laughs> you know, you know, our sound man Robert goes through the very, you know, every day he goes through everything. Um, very, you know, until you get it as, as much volume out of the guitar as you can. <laughs> wow! Um, but obviously, it's, it's it's not easy. So, so, so he just really wants that acoustic tone. Actually, yeah. Dan was telling me that at one point it was feeding back in the monitors. And what did he? What well, did yeah, they, we had a different thing. That was we were in Japan, and um, the, the soundboard for the monitors started making strange noises, and it was going ping and, and pop and crackle, <laughs> and things were going on and off. And he's like, what's going on? Just turn it off. We never had monitors in the old days. We'll do it without monitors. <laughs> and he did, he did the rest of the show. Oh, that's and great. And it was fine, yeah, it was fine. So. Yeah, so I don't know if you noticed, but the, the inlays on here are actual turquoise. Um, th this is uh, something for Goro, obviously, who's Eric's friend, the Japanese artist and silversmith who um, has a connection with American Indians and this kind of style of art. Oh. But also the gold, this is real gold. and. The, gold inlay there that's his logo wow so quite how special. beautiful yeah yeah that's Un definitely unusual. a one of one yeah so. wow and no pickup yeah what pickup is in the uh the other martins well we uh we're experimenting a little bit and yeah. today we've got a new one which we're going to try oh great um well, I hope it works for it's your sake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a local guy, Paul, Paul, Mc, Paul McGill. Oh, and okay. He has just started making these. We just put it in today, acoustic audio. Do you think you'll run it tonight or go acoustic without? Uh, without we'll we'll see when we speak. Yeah, see, I don't yeah. know, maybe. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, yeah. well, good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. OK, so that's the number one. But as a yeah. backup, he's got his signatures. Yeah, he's, this one is, yeah, it's an Eric Clapton signature, Martin, um, triple O 28. So there's a, there's still a lot of these, I think. Yeah. And it says a pickup. So yeah. this is what we, we were using up until the point where we had to get rid of the pickup. So we, you know, sometimes we'll go back to this if it depending on how he feels. Yeah. We'll give it a little bit of uh, just a reinforcement so you can hear what's going on. How cool. Uh, but we, we still have the microphone. So. Yeah. I mean, the oldest thing, that we use on the stage now is that rug I was just telling you about. <laughs> oh, so, okay, so how? <laughs> Which is, a, he's had that for about 20 years now. So he's got he's, that same rug yeah, every night. Yeah, and then, you know, everything else has been replaced, all the amps, the guitars. <laughs> <laughs> now, but, what, what are the amps? So they're, they're Bandmaster, 57 reissue Bandmaster, the Tweed. Okay. Um, but there is a, um, these were built for him by Alexander Dumble. Oh. But to, to uh, Fender Spec. Okay. But he's done, you know, he's done it meticulously, so. So did he, did Dumble start with the 
with the stock fender amp and then and then tweak it from there or did he build it from uh, the ground yeah, up? Yeah, he start with the chassis and he's, oh, he's, wow. he's built it to, to the you know to the spec but with with old parts and wow. um, yeah so it, it, it took a long time but that's, he's now got well we've had him for a while actually um, so he has the main one and a backup. Oh, okay so he's really just running through one amp yeah, yeah. with a strat and no pedals that's right other than a Wawa. Yes, uh, we, we have a switch for the Leslie. The Leslie comes on a bit like a chorus pedal yeah. for a Wonderful Tonight or a badge or you know, a few songs, but uh, not very much. Wow. And, it's, and it's all, you know, it's in the fingers and controls on the guitar. It's a very, if you put everything up, it's really dirty sound, um, but he likes the compression of you know, driving, the, driving the amp. And so he'll, he'll roll it back quite a lot. And huh, so it's, so without the boost on and the volume down, it's clean. Yeah. And then he'll just yeah. dial it in yeah, to that yeah. clapped in. Yeah. Wow, man. And yeah. And the other thing is, which you can see on the amps is he likes everything set to number seven. Number seven, <laughs> all the way. Yeah. Did, did yeah. he tell Dumble that? He said, you want, I yeah. want the sweet spot yeah, seven? Yeah, yeah. Huh. Yeah. God, that makes your job easy. Yeah. Just boom, <laughs> That's boom, it. Boom, yeah. boom. <laughs> yeah, no. Done. Can't, yeah, can't complain. Yeah, God. Yeah, <laughs> if that whole myth about not changing strings was true, you'd yeah. really have it easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, does he use a quarter-inch cable? Yep. Quarter yeah, we got cable. rid of the wireless. <laughs> God. Yeah. Quarter-inch cable into a wah. Yeah. Wah into the into the fender amp. Pretty much, yeah. We go, it goes through the little, there's a kind of switch for the Leslie, which acts like an AB, or it's a, an A plus B. Yeah. So guitar, the, Leslie, the guitar's always on. Leslie comes on with the guitar, if you want. You will feather it in when he wants. No, yeah, it's just on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the, the amp's always on, so you can have amp and Leslie, or just amp. Wow, yeah. wow. That's, uh, that's really inspiring. I mean, talk about a minimal setup. Mm. Yeah. Just massive talent, very little gear. That's right. Yeah. Dan actually built him a 12 string that's very cool too, so that one's not out. No, but... no, no luckily we're not using it on this. Trying to tune that without a pickup. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that would keep you busy. Mm. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Really, uh, really an honor right. to be here and have a great tour. Great, thank you very much. Till next time. <laughs>